the driver's seat now. Smooth. I like the song. Next. Where's the part I like? Here we go. Alright, should we start the problem now? You wanna hear it? Alright, hang on, hang on. Wait for it, wait for it! I'm holding my leg. <laughs> I see. Alright. Así se va a hacer. All right. So a lot of I've been looking on Google Classroom and Classroom Dojo and uh, page 346 and 347, uh, nine lesson unit 9.10. Uh, a lot of people, except a few, are doing it wrong. So let me explain one more time. All right. Hopefully you get it. But uh, it's once you get it, you'll get more into the group. So, for example, uh, this is not, this is, re resembles question number one. So there's nine ounces and three and a half pounds. The important part is the pounds. Pounds are LBs. Pounds, LBs. That's, LB stands for pounds. Ounces is OZ. Remember, it takes 16 ounces to equal 1 LB, or 1 LB equals 16 ounces. So half that is 8 ounces. Half a pound is 8 ounces. Okay, but they're asking you for the difference. So there's 9 ounces and 3.5 and pounds. Now, what you have to do is you have to change the one that says pounds into ounces, and then you subtract. And that's, well, you know how to subtract. Okay, so what you do is we're gonna change this three and a half pounds. So three pounds equals 16 plus 16 plus 16, or three times 16. So we know that 16 plus 16 is 32, uh, plus 16 more is gonna be six, seven, eight, uh, 48 ounces is three pounds, but we still have the half a pound. So we add that half a pound, plus half a pound is what? Eight ounces, right? So if I add that half a pound, it's gonna be 16, 56 ounces. So there's, what you have to do, this three and a half pounds actually equals, let me put that separate here, um, Three and a half pounds, now we know equals 56 pounds, 56 ounces, okay? So now that this is changed to 56 ounces, this is equal to 56 ounces. Now we can subtract the nine ounces, okay? So 56, you take away the nine ounces, well, let's say you gotta borrow, Six, seven, eight, nine, that's seven. 47 ounces is the answer to this one. So let me recap what I did, okay? I, I converted the three and a half pounds. You're gonna change the pounds always into nine ounces. So I said three pounds, one pound 16, another pound 16, another pound 16. So I got 48 ounces, but I didn't forget my half a pound, I changed that to eight ounces. Now, and then, once I did that, I figured I was 56 ounces, I subtracted my nine ounces, and then you get the answer. Okay, that is almost like the one on, uh, actually on page 347, two, eight. Okay, almost, I just changed a little bit, I didn't wanna give you the answer. So, if you figure this out, look at this, mad genius. You'll do that. Okay, another one, let me get my eraser. And uh, you, uh, the other one, oh, don't forget, that's uh, 16 ounces equals one pound. Okay, 
The other one says something like this. If you have two and a half, I think it's, uh, this one's 3D. I'm going to give you the answer for this one, so figure it out. But I want you to know how to, you have two and a half uh, pounds or asses, I mean pounds, are poured, are split, spl, split into four containers, right? So you're going to divide this one, and it says how many ounces? It's waiting for an answer. But the answer is in ounces. We have this in pounds. So we got to change this into pounds. We got to find out what's equivalent, equal to that in order to change it, right? So we change this uh, two and a half. So two pounds equals 32 ounces plus the half, which is eight ounces. So that equals 40 ounces. Now we can start doing that. But then we have to divide 40 divided by four containers. And of course, that's easy. Well, now we know that's easy. This part's easy. We just divide 10 ounces. Okay? Make sure you got that one right. I saw a lot of it wrong. Uh, so I want you to get them right because the whole thing is for you to improve. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to change these pounds into ounces. Remember, one is 16. So if we have two, we double it. Three, we do it three times. Four, we do it four times. Five, we do it five times. So we just keep adding 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, whatever it is. Remember, change the pounds because the answer has to be in ounces. All right, uh, let's do this.